Good afternoon, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Well, the body count around Megan keeps growing. Uh, her, her chief bodyguard and inspector, this lady and inspector, you can see Megan right behind her. Uh, and this is the Fiji market uh, where apparently an incident occurred. Um, so she was only there for six months. This is her, her chief bodyguard and she lasted a mere six months and she's already quitting. So the body count keeps growing around Megan. Let's read. Okay, so Meghan Markle is slammed after, after bodyguard's resignation. She thinks she's the queen, quote. Meghan Markle faces another round of criticism following the resignation of her bodyguard. The Duchess of Sussex's female bodyguard, this is her, has vacated her post after just six months of serving the former suit star. Many blame Markle for her bodyguard's resignation because former reports claim that she was difficult to work for. She thinks she's the queen. Can't stand her. That's a random quote from a netizen. Hmm. She's a fame-hungry attention seeker, hell-bent on getting her own way. The bodyguard, who was not named for security reasons, reportedly joined the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on their Commonwealth tour, she held the rank of inspector and was pictured leaping into action during a security scare in Fiji in October. Prior to the resignation of Markle's bodyguard, she lost three aides in November. The three individuals who left their royal jobs were Edward Lane Fox, Samantha Cohen, the couple's private secretary who filled in Fox's position, and Markle's personal assistant named Melissa Tuabati. Okay, so this dude, Edward Lane Fox, quit, was replaced by Samantha Cohen, okay, and then Cohen immediately quit. So Fox quit and then was replaced by Cohen. Cohen immediately quit. She lasted like days. And then Markle's personal assistant quit. Disturbing. Um, what I actually wonder is if Megan is, uh, how to describe this? This is called attention-seeking behavior. Um, so, like, I I've dated women, uh, and some of them, like, some of them, like, when I start dating them, suddenly they can't drive. Uh, they, they won't drive. I have to drive them everywhere and everywhere. Uh, they, they can't go anywhere themselves. I always have to be with them. They can't walk to their car alone. They can't do anything alone. And I have to constantly be with them and watch them constantly. And it's just, it's pure control. It's pure manipulation. And it's, you have to constantly pay attention to this person uh, and they're constantly doing things that are dangerous and potentially harmful. You know, you look away from her for a second and she's got razor blades in her hand, like she's going to cut herself. You look away from her for a second and she's got a bottle of pills in her hand. And it's like, oh my God, how did you survive? I'm wondering, and, okay, one of these ladies that I dated, it was so stressful uh, her constant attention seeking that the literally the moment I broke up with her, I got cancer. Okay, that's how bad, how badly she stressed me out. And I'm actually wondering if Megan is this kind of a person. Um, so apparently the incident is, they were in Fiji. This looks like the Fiji market. It's a crowded market in Fiji and Suva. And it just got a little too crazy and she was giving direction to Megan because she's required to protect her. That's her job. And I think Megan just doesn't follow directions or she intentionally does really stupid things so that you have to constantly pay attention to her. She's constantly intentionally putting herself in danger. 
Okay, so let's do the security officer, security officer, and Megan. What what is going on between them? The security officer and Megan. This is the security officer. And Megan. Interesting. Interesting throw. Okay. I think that's clear. Okay. So here on the securities officer side, we have Fox, Mother Earth, Karmic Shift. Mother Earth is the situation. She's in, she's in charge of the situation. She controls the environment. Very Earth-based. Big change, Fox. Wisely, okay, the fox moves the pieces around in the situation and can, okay, very wisely, this is good energy for her. She wisely moves the pieces around in the situation, okay, but there's been a big change of heart. 24, six spades, 12 and 12 is 24, six spades, bad relationship. Okay, so there's been a big change because of the bad relationship. She's just not able to get along with Megan. They're, Megan is not cooperating with her. She needs to be able to do her job. Megan needs to be able to take direction and do what she's told, or she can't protect her. She can't just run into danger and say, oh, well, she'll save me, because maybe she'll be able to, maybe she won't be able to. This is Megan's side. Right in the middle, we have... Incubus, succubus, selfish. This is a bad, selfish relationship. Acting like an angel. Okay, committed to acting like an angel. 11, 17, 19, five clubs. Decisions out on the crossroads. Okay, in public, she's very selfish. She only thinks of herself. So Megan is only thinking of herself. I think she's not following directions. Okay, let's ask, does Megan ignore uh, all of the direction and the instruction from uh, the security chief? And she's a very highly ranked uh, police, Scotland Yard police officer. She's very, very well qualified. She holds the rank of inspector. So she really knows what she's doing. And she's been doing this for a while, and she can get it done. And that's the kind of person you want around you. Somebody who knows what they're doing, is very confident of their abilities, uh, and has a wide range of experience. She's exactly that person, and you have to follow her directions. What, how much experience does Megan have being a royal? Practically none. Okay, so this woman is a lot more experienced than Megan in these crowd control, dangerous kind of situations, and she is trained to look for things. So does Megan uh, ignore her instructions? Is Megan ignoring her instructions? Let me write these down. Okay, so is Megan ignoring instructions? Crossroads, cornucopia, four leaf clover, mercury. Mercury is communication. Okay, as events are occurring, communicating decisions in the world, cornucopia is. Ev all material things. 12 plus 5, 17, 5 hearts. Two change cards. Okay, so they need to make adjustments on the fly. Okay, adjustments are communicated constantly on the fly when they're out uh, to, for, for everything, for the whole situation. And you have to be flexible. Okay, so the question is, was, is Megan ignoring instructions? Is she just simply not following instructions? Um, 
Crossroads splits and goes two ways. Five Hearts is reacting. I don't know. Does she treat her staff poorly? Okay, she's... There's this accusation that she's like a queen. Is she? Did she mistreat the inspector? Did she talk down to her? Does she? Did she treat the her? Did she mistreat this lady? Okay, handcuff, woman, son, three black birds. Okay, talking and activity, the woman, uh, binding, son. Exposing, this is controlling behavior. Megan is too controlling. She's controlling. Megan is maybe trying to control the inspector. The inspector has to be in charge of security. She is in charge of security. And it looks like Megan is trying to control. Okay, being difficult, trying to control. Is Megan intentionally... Does Megan intentionally... Uh, create problems and put herself in, in danger, okay? Because that's what I've experienced. And I've experienced it more than once. Um, and not just from women. You know, I had a robin. I had a robin that I raised. And this robin would, uh, you know, it was, he was, an, it was a male. And he was amazing and beautiful and just so smart. But when he was around me, he would just act like he was helpless because I was so dominant in his eyes. You know, and a cat would approach and he'd like look at the cat and he'd look at me and he's like, you have to save me. And I'm like, you know, just fly up in the tree, man. Okay, is she intentionally putting herself in danger? Uh, is that what I asked? Does she intentionally Yeah, is does she intentionally do stupid things so that so that she needs constant attention doing stupid things like intentionally because I've experienced this Okay, she intentionally doing stupid things so that she you have to pay attention to her constantly. It's attention whoring constantly. You have to pay attention to me or I'm going to like take a bottle of pills. Um, Magi is a manifester, heart, um, scapegoat. Okay, 9 and 13, 22, 6 diamonds. Okay, so she wants attention from everybody. She's manifesting attention from everybody and she's constantly creating. She, the finger of God comes from the outside. So she's manifesting, she's using outside things to create a bad situation so that you'll constantly watch her. Yeah. So yeah, she's one of these people and it's stressing everyone out. She's one of these people who is constantly uh, creating bad, creating problems. She creates problems so that you have to watch her continuously. And if you look away from her for a moment, this is insecurity. Uh, and if you look away from her for a moment, she'll do something really stupid. Devil wants to pop out. 
Okay, so, and this is insecurity. Is she, is Megan a very, 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 very insecure person? Is that what's going on? Okay, because she went on the Boxing Day shoot, which is just creepy. She's, and none of the other women went. Okay, she, she's against shooting, she's against hunting, and she went on the Boxing Day shoot. That is like, stay home. Uh, is she, is she incredibly insecure? Because this is the behavior of a very, very insecure person. She very, very insecure. Cross, okay, and devil wants to pop out. Hmm. All right, is Megan very insecure? Olive Tree City, 14 and 3, 17. Five hearts is showing up everywhere in this reading. The ad for almost everything is five hearts. Five hearts is fence sitter, which is a very watery personality, doesn't initiate anything, is always reacting, too reactive, too watery. That's what keeps showing up. Okay, roses, all about appearance. Um, you know, appearance, looking beautiful in front of the whole world. And this is, this is what is deeply rooted in her. Her, her whole thing is about looking beautiful in front of everybody. She wants everybody to love her. Cross and devil. Devil's very selfish, only cares about herself, wants the whole world to love her. This is her whole thing. And this is what she's built her life on. Cross. Hmm. So I asked, is she very insecure? Yeah. She's very insecure. It's all about appearance and getting everyone to love her. So yeah, she's very attention-seeking. She's much too attention-seeking. Okay, let's review here. This is the inspector, this is Megan. What are we seeing? The inspector is trying to control the situation, but it's gone sour. She's not able to. This adds six spades, incubus, succubus. She's not able to, so everything changed for her. She's just simply not able to do her job. She has a job to do. Megan is just making it impossible for her to do her job. And so she's like, I quit. I can't do my job. What's Megan doing? Megan is completely selfish. She's acting like an angel. She's determined to appear as an angel. An angel comes up a lot. Five hearts comes up a lot. Six spades comes up a lot for her. Okay, and this is eight and 11, 19. She's constantly making decisions. Everything is about looking perfect. Everything is about look at me, look at me, look at me, but it's completely selfish. And it's making uh, the inspector's job impossible. It's just impossible for her to do her job. Okay. Is she ignoring instructions? Okay. I think this is ignoring instructions. Okay. Uh, and this adds, this adds 17, five hearts. Okay. So there's a lot of changes. You have to constantly be adjusting. Okay. Commun constantly adjusting communications and changes about everything. Is she ignoring instructions? It appears that she's not taking instructions because there's a constant back and forth. There has to be communication and adjustment and she's going in a different direction. She's going in a different direction. Okay. Is she mistreating the inspector? She's very controlling. Megan is very, very controlling, uh, which very insecure people are very, very, very controlling. 12 and 3, 15, four clubs. She, she's constantly doing stuff to control, to bind, to bind and control. You can't do this, you can't do that. Forcing her moves. Okay, 
is Megan intentionally doing stupid things? Well, eight spades, eights are everything, okay? Eight spades is the worst situation. So she's constantly using the situation to create a terrible situation. She's constantly manifesting trouble. She's constantly creating trouble. Like others that I've met and, and dated, they're constantly creating a problem. She's a problem. She's constantly creating a problem. She's manifesting problems and forcing you to pay attention to her. And, and it's all the time. And it's really, it's really exhausting. It's really exhausting. It's better to, you know, for me, I would just rather be alone than have someone like that around me. Okay, is Megan insecure? Well, she, the devil popped out. <clears throat> she has deep, deep, deep insecurity deep insecurity, and it's all about how she appears, her whole thing in life, okay, her permanent, deep-rooted thing in life is being beautiful, being a beautiful woman. She's got everything she has by being a beautiful woman in the eyes of the world. So her whole thing is, look at me, pay attention to me, I'm beautiful, love me and accept me. Love me because I'm beautiful. She's constantly creating, she's constantly, constantly creating situations. She's making people look at her. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Pay attention. And she does this by creating problems and not following instructions. Okay, that's what I see. And she does it so constantly that this inspector is just so exasperated. She's like, I can't protect you. I'm not able to protect you because you're, you just have your own agenda and you don't do anything I tell you. I'm not able to do my job and you're going to be killed and I'm going to feel, I'm, you're just stressing me out. And that's what's going on. She is just, she can't do her job because Megan is, Megan has her own agenda and that agenda is, look at me, I'm beautiful, I need constant attention. And she, like others that I've met, she is doing this on purpose to get attention by any means. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Uh, find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment.